the list of worst looking weapons. AKA when the artists take shortcuts and don't give a fuck about their job. But anyways, why should anyone care about looks of the tool if the tool works well? Simple, this is a game and logic need not apply. But in all seriousness, you wouldn't want to run around the battlefield stabbing each other with giant dildos. Um, okay, bad example, I would love that myself. What I meant was, you wouldn't want to run around the place with half-baked model that has every second vertex missing. You know, something like this. So in a game, the weapon aesthetics is quite important, I'd say. No, oh, and as this is highly subjective matter, this is only my list and my opinion, so take it as such. So what are the worst looking weapons in Planetside? Number 10. We start off with one ugly son of a gun. Ah. I fucking hate that thing. The underboss. Reason for this thing being in 10 spot is that it's a revolver and in my eyes revolvers are pretty cool as they have that old western feel. But modern revolvers tend to be more modern looking. And sure, you can argue that it's like that. But the problem I have with this abortion piece is that unlike any nice revolver, Anite Systems decided that it's a great idea to remove its barrel. Yeah, sure as hell, that'll make it look so much better. Better. I'm sure the people that know guns will cringe seeing this thing. Number 9. Okay, now when it comes to my trusty steed Silver, I mean Flash, I can understand that whatever guns it might have will be miniature versions of bigger ones. But Renegade just looks like crap in general. Sure, you might say that NC aircraft shotgun looks dumb too then. But no, I have always seen Renegade as Renegade amongst decent weapon design. There's just nothing interesting about it. Besides, this is a sci-fi game. You can make anything. So why did those talented artists from days long past made such an uninspired and boring looking thing? Number 8. So as I did imply in the beginning, weapons in this list are not judged by their ability to put holes in planet plants, they are judged by their looks. Yes, this is the shallowest video I have made, and I don't care. Anyhow, number 8 are Pounders. See, Pounders are pretty damn good, but weapon model just looks so terrible and non-threatening, it makes me question my perception of the world. Seriously, that little thing brings more pain than fractures, and that's a shame. It's like being afraid of Jar Jar Binks. Sure, in some way Lucas might make him destroy a Death Star or something, but it just looks so dumb and useless you wouldn't expect it. And in part, Pounders are this way. Number 7. Now, a while ago, devs had announced that they will be making some sniper pistol. Well, sort of. So yeah, Black Hand is number 7. And when it came time to put it on the test server, I bet everyone was asking, What the fuck is this thing? It's basically a commissioner, or underboss, with penis, I, I mean, barrel extension, and a scope. Seriously, when I saw this, I was wondering, are devs really this lazy that they have to reuse the same base model once more? And better yet, add some ugly nose to it? And even sadder realization I came to was that you really have potential to make anything, and you make this. Wow. Just, just wow. I'm so disappointed. Number 6. Back in the day! Man, I say this phrase too much these days. Anyways, back then I remember Basilisk and Volker turrets on ground and air vehicles looking rather plain. Then after a while they got some nice facelift. But it seems that someone forgot to include Drake turrets for libs and gals in the list. As that particular thing looks so sad compared to Volker and Bulldog, it's not funny. While Drake in some ways is better than the Penis Extender 3000, it just looks so plain and boring compared to its alternatives, it just deserves this spot. Number 5. So I don't fly Valkyrie, not all, but after I went through its weapon list, Pelter Rocket stood out to me as something worth talking about. Now tell me, what do you see? I'll tell you what I see. A model made by someone who doesn't know how military weaponry works or how 3D modeling software works. Or worse, both. I mean, this particular piece can just be boiled down to four rounded boxes with holes. Much like your viable flashlight. There's just nothing interesting or good about it. And frankly, I would put it higher if not for following. Number 4. Okay, so a few days or weeks before I made this video, devs introduced new designs for Empire-specific Tier 2 pistols. Emperor, Manticore and Rebel. Guess which one is in this spot? Oh, come on, you know this one. Of course it's Rebel! My fucking gods, what the f- 
fuck happened with that model? As I first saw it, I thought it was a sick joke, but fuck no, it's real. Sure, not many will use Rebel as it's kinda crap. But damn, how can you expect people to take it seriously now? See, here's the thing, Rebel by stats is supposed to deal more damage than default. So it would mean logically that gun model would be beefier and more menacing than the weaker pistols. That's just simple logic. It's like comparing USP to Deagle. But I guess that day they said, Right, we must redesign these crap pistols that no one likes. How should we go about this? I know, how about this? For VS we just recolor it. Like we do with everything VS related. Then TR gets cool looking update. And NC? Ah, fuck NC. Give them some lead and roof tiles. So there you go. An ugly piece of shit that someone actually got paid to design. Wow. Number three. Now, let's see... Oh yeah, looks like I can't let go of that secondary slot just yet. Number 3 is T4 Amp. Only good thing about it is it's reload, and only because it's unique. Everything else just looks like shit! To me, this pistol looks like a lemon slice with a toothpick stuck in it. Not very imaginative or fun. Seriously, it doesn't help that it's also a quite shitty weapon to use, too. As I look at it, I think that whoever designed this lemon shooter took a note out of the manual for the fucking trap! And speaking of, number two. Yeah, people that know me at least a little would have guessed the trap would take quite high spot on this list. Now, where to begin? Oh my. Yeah, let's go with the TR as a faction. See, TR weaponry has that certain feel. It's sort of the most realistic for the future, while NC are pure utilitarian design. Then why the fuck does trap look like a god? Damn abortion between TR and VS. No other weapon in Planet Side looks like this, even remotely. But fuck, mishmash of ovals this crap is? And best part about this, someone put a lot of effort into making this model and failed miserably. An even greater insult to all of us is that this weapon is supposed to be a sniper. And you know what? For a test, go take a picture of the trap and show this to anyone who hasn't played Planet Side and ask which category that weapon would fit the most. I bet no one would say sniper. Number one. And finally, number one spot takes the most unrealistic weapon in the game. A weapon that would cause more blunt trauma than an actual piercing or slashing damage. Yes, it's Vanu Default Knife and Luminage. Tell me, how are these supposed to cut anyone? With a fucking pommel or something? Sure, why not? That would at least make more sense. Seriously, to me, they look like goddamn rubber training knives. I am flabbergasted looking at these things since day one. Sure, the NC, Pleasure Max Vibrator, and idiotic TR chain knife are dumb as fuck, but at least they are funny. Vanu has pure diarrhea when it comes to knives. None of them even look sharp or remotely like a thing that could actually cut something. In my time, I've seen some idiotic designs when it comes to blades. I mean, come on, I've watched Bleach, none other shows with sharp butter knives, but Planetside just takes the cake in this competition. Although, Keysword from Kingdom Hearts could be even more moronic. I can't tell anymore. Now, that's my list, but before I go into all the dishonorable mentions, may I just say this. Most weapons in Plant Side are bloated up toys that realistically are covered with excessive plating and material. All of them have the same base model and with few changes in stocks and barrels, really there's nothing different between most of them. So I kinda had to pass quite a lot of boring ones just because there were tons of similar ones. If I wouldn't know better, I would call this weapon design method extremely lazy. Right, now that that's done, on to the mentions. Mjolnir. This thing seriously looks like a box with four pegs coming out of it. Absolutely non-threatening and uncool. Enforcer. Love the weapon, hate the design. Again, the same problem as Mjolnir. Armistice. Ooh, ah, my face and teeth. This has to be the worst bolt slide for a weapon I've seen in ages. Mutilator. Essentially a midget minigun with Down syndrome. Also, fuck PC language. Stalker. Many TR and NC weapons have such long barrels that you would think that they are accurate at least. Yeah, no. Locust. Essentially needler, but with extra crap crammed on it. Lynx. Hate the color, hate the rounded, bloated, unnecessary panels on the sides. You know, the usual stuff. Idol and an Artemis. They look like unnecessarily over-designed sci-fi craps, with sharp edges everywhere. AMR. Again, the long barrel just kills me. And the body is just a base model shared with thousand other weapons. 
Eradani. Ah, oh, yes, this piece of shit. Yeah, whoever designed this never realized that you had to put forward grip on it or other attachments. And so now that you have put everything on it, it looks like Filipino transvestite with boob job gone wrong. And so there you go. These are my personal picks and I'm guessing that I at least pissed someone off and let it be known. I don't care. If you enjoy this, regardless if you agree or not, feel free to post your thoughts down below and, no, and hey, maybe share your list as well. Cause you know, this works definitely. Yep. That's VR for you. <laughs> well, anyway.